In this video, I'm showing you my latest haul from Erin Condren and Planner Kate, which is a sticker company. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've got two orders that I just wanted to show whoops, what I have bought recently. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with Planner K because this is a sticker company that is super, super popular. So if you're not familiar with them, they make planner stickers and I think like apparel and stuff. Um, very popular. I'm not an affiliate. I can put my friend's affiliate link underneath, but they have so much cute stuff. So, all right, first of all, I got this sticker planner organization thing. Um, right now my stickers are all just in a box. I'm not even going to show it because it's embarrassing. I've tried to organize stickers a lot of different ways. Just wanted to show how this works. So they fit in here. Now in theory, because I have not tested it, but I tried to buy, when I was looking online, it'll tell you how big things are and how, what fits in what size especially for like the organization binders but as well as the planner so if you don't have a planner that like if you just have an off-the-shelf planner like from target you have to kind of check to make sure that the measurements work a lot of things are standard but it's better to just make sure so that you're not i mean you can always cut planners or stickers but if you don't have the right size it can be annoying so this was part of a sale so I'm pretty sure I got some, oh yeah, so this was, oh sweet. So this is part of the 10 year sampler sale. Oh my God, this is adorable. Okay, so first of all, every time you order something, you get a freebie sampler, which are these little tiny sticker things. And usually you get like one or two, but I think because I had a bigger off or offer order, I got more. So arrows, weather stuff, labels, um, weekly habit things, boxes, the texts and fonts that she has are really cute too. Oh, balloons. I love that. I'm going to save that for work weekend. Okay. So then this was also an extra. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. The color isn't showing it as clear as it is. It should be a little bit brighter, but okay. Then I specifically ordered these monthly stickers in this font that I chose. For, I'm going to kind of show you my plan of how I'm going to use these, but basically these are some of the text or font samples, and it'll tell you up at the top here. So the planner that I bought is undated for next year. So this is all stuff for next year. These are little dinner icons I'm going to put in my planner and then Facebook things for work. Holidays, again, because I, my planner is undated, and then a bunch of these weeklies same thing so every week I have to date it and put the days so I can start it honestly any day that I want so some people like to start on Mondays some people start Sunday starts okay and then these are the cute things I have got maybe I should go like I don't know September so this will fit the Erin Condren eight and a half by 11 monthly so that's the larger size sometimes it's hard to find stickers for that size because it's not as popular as the seven by nine size and then how cute is this a book one but it's like a bedtime reading one and usually I'm reading before bed so that's why I thought this was so cute just one more chapter like you're in your bed some of, all, actually all of these were on sale. So especially the ones for months that have passed, like this was this last year's July. So it's discounted. So you can, that's kind of a nice sticker hack is if you buy the ones that were already for this last year, they're cheaper and then you save it for next year because you're dating everything. So it doesn't matter. So, so that was cute, January. And I don't remember buying that, but okay, cool. Um, so this is like back to school washi and stuff. So that's not going to fit in there, but these should. And that's why I bought this. Oh no. Nope, they don't. <clears throat> but these do maybe? 
this does. So because maybe because that's a monthly that's not fitting. This is a weekly kit. Okay, so that will fit. This will fit. So that's fine because I can even cut. If I cut the washi off, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Or even if I just stick them in here. So I need to be better about pre-planning. Um, a lot of planners are do pre-planning with stickers. And because I used to be, oh, I also got this. I used to be better about stickers because it I kind of fell into the sticker planner trap, if you will, or rabbit hole. Not, not trap. It's not bad. It's just expensive. So if you don't have the money to spend on that, then it's not always worth it. But how cute is this? The cherries, kind of a red gingham picnic pattern that was on sale too. Um, I wanted to get these because again, my planner is undated. I'll show you that in a minute, but I'm going to try to get better about pre-planning with stickers, especially just even a monthly kit. That's why I mostly, I don't think I only have to get a couple more for next year. And as they release them for this year, I'll probably buy them now once they're passed so that they're a little bit cheaper and I'm not waiting for the newest, latest monthly. Oh, garbage, garbage. All right, so then from Erin Condren, so I did already open this, as you can see. Um, that company was also having a sale. I really wanted to take advantage of that as well. So I mostly got notebooks this time. So this is gonna be for work. This is going to be for, I have to remember now. I had it all written out. But I also like the cover on this too. And you can change the covers. You can take them off. And actually I save all my covers because I used to have, so this is a seven by nine. Okay, so this is all the covers that I have bought and saved because they're plastic and they're removable. So when I had a seven by nine planner two years ago, I think I would change the cover out seasonally. So you can personalize them or whatever the latest launch is. So this was, I forgot what that was called color blends maybe and then fall you know Halloween Christmas and so this is a smaller size but that's why it fits into the pocket they also released pockets last year this one I always use for January and this is an old um what is it called mid-century circles I believe that's like what they started with Erin Condren okay so my plan is just, I wanted the notebook in this size and then I will change up the cover depending on how I want. It's gonna match the cover of my planner because these are just notebooks. And this one was, I believe the productivity one. So you get lined paper and then boxes. Or maybe it's not productivity or it's like goal planning and then checklists in the back too. There's different sections. Yeah, so this is the checklist section. Two pocket folders, and this is the same as the other one. Three subjects. Okay, yeah, so first is all paper. The second part has one paper lined, and on the back are six boxes. So like project-based. I believe this one is the same. Nope, just classic lined. Okay, so sometimes I just need a planner to, or I'm sorry, a notebook to correlate with my planner to collect notes and lists and stuff like that. So, okay. And I also got this t-shirt, which I thought was really cute. I don't have any planner shirts. Whoa, it looks gigantic. That looks really big. I don't know if you can see it. Planner's going to plan. Cute. Let me know in the comments if you have planner apparel. I would love to get more kind of stuff like that, but it's, it is corny, but it's fun. All right, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.